Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to a very special beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppers. Today, joined by Brits of Enomyces doing another Fremont vertical tasting. We did one last year of the Rusty Nail, mm -hmm. and now we're doing one with some barley wine because B I L, barley wine is life. Praise the mayor's honor. Uh, this is Brew 2000, 3000, and 4000 from Fremont, yep. and these have been released in Europe. Yeah, it's crazy. Which is nuts. We gotta give a shout out to Martin as well, uh, Martin Moogie, because he was actually the one who supplied one of the bottles because he got one before it sold out, which was Brew 2000. Uh, that was the one to go the quickest. I think all of them are gone now, but mm. we already had Brew 3000 and we loved it. We thought it was, you know, one of the best beers we had in, you know, was it 19? Uh, no, it was last year actually. Oh, yeah. But was it? Yeah, it was. It was even in the top 10. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but phenomenal barley wine. Yeah. Really, really crazy good stuff. Mm. And uh, yeah, now we get to try this whole set. Yeah. Uh, we got this one on Beer Dome, didn't we? Yeah. And this one was on... On Hopped. Yeah. So, on yeah. Hopped, that we bought That was it the only, Beer only Dome. place you could get it, yeah. Beer. from what I know. Yeah. Beer Dome was our kind of deal we have with Beer Dome with a sponsorship. We get it at a good price. So thanks yeah. to Beer Dome for the beer. Absolutely. Again, keep an eye out for their shop. They just got another American drop. <laughs> it seems to never end. But I think we should start off with the oldest beer, Brew yeah. 2000. Brew 2000, it says barley wine aged in bourbon barrels. It's 12.8%. And uh, as per usual, they have the malts in here. And this is Marisada Pale. Uh, Carafa 2 special malts, white wheat, and magnum and golden hops. Yeah. And it's the same for the two, the two others. Yes, So just the ABV slightly different. Yeah. But yeah, let's start with the oldest here. I'm yeah. really looking forward to see how it will be with age. Mm -hmm. So you, it looks like it's aged a bit. I mean, it's really dark, yeah. but all the others are quite dark. But this is definitely yeah. the darkest of the bunch, which could be is a it? little bit of oxidation, isn't it? I think I think 4,000 is yeah, the it's darkest. A, no, they are actually quite the same. I just think it's a bit more murky, Okay. the uh, 2000. If you hold it up. Hmm. Try and hold up like here. The head is a bit darker though. I'll give it give it that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Let's. Tr yeah. Let's try it. Well, maybe I think it's just because that's, if you look at this, it's very muddy. But yeah, it looks yeah. nice. Let's take out your own one, the two thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely oxidized a bit more, yeah. but it smells really nice. Really porty and, and like bourbony. Yeah. And toasty. Like yeah, lots really of caramelized toasty. toasted wood. It's so much more oh. mellow than the three thousand when we had it last. Three thousand was a bit yeah. more explosive in the glass. Yeah, but it's it's what you kind of what you expect from yeah. barley wine from 2017. It's almost four four years old. Yeah, you know it, and I don't think it's bad oxidation. It's that no. like slight uh, port wine or sherry type yeah, vibe, a bit but of raisin. Yeah, but lots of raisin and dark fruit. I'm definitely also yeah. smelling a good amount of caramel. Yeah, but the vanilla is a bit hidden, and there's mm -hmm. also definitely some fudgy bourbon character. But I don't think it's. Yeah, I'm also getting really really black cherry. Yeah, like a spice. dried black like, cherry. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, it's not like that fresh no, sour. No. It's almost like sweetened. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try the two thousand. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Man, it drinks amazingly well. Oh fuck that! That's so. Fuck that is so well balanced for an almost thirty percent beer. I didn't expect it to be this good. No, not from the flavor. The, oh, the aroma oh. was 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 pretty good, but. The taste is really damn good. The, the aroma is a bit more muted, mm. but I think that's just because of a little bit yeah. of oxidation, but it's still still got the same kind of huge pop of flavor mm. as, a, as a fresh bottle would have. Maybe just more balanced. Uh, yeah. There's a little bit of alcohol warmth I'm having in the uh, it's my throat right now, but just like, you know, sipping so a little pleasant. bit of scotch or bourbon, it's really pleasant, the warmth. Big fudge yeah. character. Yeah. Like Lots of barrel character fudge. also. Yeah. It's like that bourbon candy yeah. fudge barrel character. You can really taste the oak. You know, it really has this toasted mm -hmm. caramelized oak character all really? the way through. Like it tastes like, because I think they don't write that here, but usually these are aged for, let's see. They used to put it on the bottles here, how long they age them in the barrels. Yeah, but, but I don't usually three months with this one. Oh, do you think it's just a year? I can't mm. remember how it was, but usually Fremont Dutch. But I don't blending. think they put uh, put it on the the, the label or these labels. No, I oh, think right. it's only Dark Star and a few of the others. It's yeah. surprisingly drinkable too. There is a bit of a, like almost like a caramelized honey. Mm. If you put honey in the pan for cooking and you kind of just caramelize a bit so it gets even yeah. darker, because like a more complex honey-like note. Uh, the vanilla is also there, but I think it's mostly uh, like a crazy fudgy woody barrel character, not the same yeah, kind of yeah. fresh bright vanilla. And it's, it's less dark fruity than I expected, but I'm getting mm -hmm. just a hint of it. But I, I think that's 
because it's there in the aroma, so yeah. of course your nose will, you know. But I like that on. there is some dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's also like the hints of tobacco that you often get in this style, mm -hmm. but it's it's like a total fudge sweet, caramel bomb. Sweet pipe tobacco. Yeah, almost yeah, like almost sweet that aroma of pipe tobacco. Yeah, we talked that about before, like these sweetened tobaccos that are flavored with caramel yeah. or whatever. It's almost like that. Yeah, yeah. But man, that's really good. Yeah. Let's try and jump over to the three thousand. Mm -hmm. So this one is stronger, right? Yeah, this is the strongest, it's 13.2. Yeah. Brewed in 2019. Yeah. So not as, or, you know, old. When we had this, we gave it around 98. Hmm. I think, I think this was released in 19, and I think yeah. it's release dates. Date, dates, yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, we gave it a 98, so yeah. Uh, let's see how it is. Mm -hmm. Looks very similar, yeah. just a bit more clear, and Maybe a bit more bu bubbly. A little bit more bubbly. Yeah. Definitely more carbonated when we popped it as yeah. well. To go to the aroma. Ooh. Yeah, uh, much more almondy actually. Yeah, almond, almond and vanilla. like vanilla. It's, it's interesting how the vanilla is a bit more present. Yeah, I yeah, see that. Yeah, it's more bright, but it doesn't have the same kind of deep barrel complexity to no. it. Like this has more of a deep woody character. Yeah, this has just more brightness to it. If you brightness yeah. in a huge multi beer, but like bright soft nuances in yeah. terms of like of that. I'm also getting like hazelnuts on this one. Yeah, like toasty hazel, caramelized hazelnuts. And there's also a little bit of dark fruit, but it has like next to no oxidized aroma no, at all. No. The other one has a little bit. It's, it's so bright and yeah, almondy, a bit of coconut, vanilla. That smells really good. Yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, it's also really good. Yeah. But it's, just, it's the same kind of crazy fudgy character, but yeah. this is just more vanilla. Mm. More sweet almond, almond liqueur almost, yeah, and less tobacco and dark fruity things, yeah. Like it's more just like one of these. This is more, much more like Paragon. Yeah, it's a lot like Paragon yeah, from so. uh, from Levy. Yeah, really. Close. I think it's less toasty. Wow, it's There's a bit, le a bit less of a, like a toasty barrel component. I agree. Component yeah, that's that's what I said. It doesn't have the same kind of depth mm -mm. of barrel. Uh, it has that like really sweet and rich caramel fudge malt profile with hints of there is a little bit of a jammy dark fruit, but it's it's super light. It's yeah. almost like this dry cherry type thing. Yeah. But there's here it's just less pronounced in the mm -hmm. than in the aged one. There's so much like caramel and toffee and yeah yeah vanilla. It's really a big mixture of those. Even though this yeah. is more carbonated, it doesn't ruin the mouthfeel no. in any way, shape, or no. form because it's still it's just... really oily and coating. Yeah. Both are full bodied and oily and, and, and velvety and slick beers. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. But it's it's similar ballparks, just so much more bright. I'm even yeah. getting like these this kind of candied red apple flavor to the fresh one. Yeah. Like caramelized apple. The apple is caramelized apples on sticks. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. It's really almost like a bit of a white pepper or something. There's a spiciness from the wood. Yeah, a more vibrant, but fresh I think spice, this... but not the, that yeah. deep barrel thing. But no. I think it's just because it's younger. But try and taste this. This has definitely has a bit more of like a yeah deeper yeah spice. The the two thousand. It it's also much more like that cherry thing. It's mm. so much more apparent yeah. in the two thousand. Yeah. It's almost like it has a bit of just like a touch of like this. Cherry tannic ch cherry yeah. skin esque thing. And I think this one is a bit more. Two thousand is a bit more balanced. It's not as sweet yeah. and just fudge, fudge, fudge. I would, totally, what I'd say. I, I would say if you want like more just ba well balanced barley wine, it's the two thousand. But the three thousand is if you have a big sweet tooth and you want yeah. one of these crazy yeah. modern fudge bombs. Because yeah. that's totally what that beer is. Three thousand is a bit more desserty. Yeah. yeah, but so far I think I prefer the two thousand, especially having it just one sip after because mm. I really like that like dry cherry kind of thing. Mm. It uh, disrupts a bit of the sweetness. And also just that toastiness of slightly spicy component mm -hmm. that balances out the, that fudgy sweet yeah. character. And, then, and because of it, it has all these other extra layers, I don't mind that it's not as mm. popping with the vanilla. Yeah. But yeah, let's try and jump on to the Ooh, Brew 4000. Really about a real one. fresh one. From last year, released last year in 2020, yeah. this is 12.7%. Yeah. I think this one is looking like it's a bit darker, but yeah. I mean, when it's squirreled up in the glass, I definitely agree. Yeah. When you have less yeah. in the glass, it yeah, definitely it looks is. A bit you can see, it, especially next to the three thousand, it looks thicker. But I next think. to the two thousand, yeah, it is. I think it's it just is the darkest of the bunch. Really. And you can definitely see it on the head too, because it's more of a caramel color. Yeah. It looks nice to see all the aroma. 
Ooh, yeah, it's mm. almost like the 2000 in terms of it. It has like a bit more of this deeper char yeah. and spice. Yeah. But it still smells towards the sweeter side, like the 3000. Yeah. I'm also getting the kind of cherry Maraschino cherry or um, what are they called? The uh, the sweet cherries you get from Italy in that sauce. Oh yeah. Uh, it's uh, Amarena. Amarena cherries. Yeah, Amarena, Amarena yeah. cherries. Yeah, yeah. But this one is a bit more similar to, to uh, 2000. I think uh, I smell a bit more, I get a bit more of a aroma from the 2000 right now, but that's probably because there's less. In yeah, the, yeah, it's in, breathing in more in the glass. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. But I'm, I'm also getting more of that bright vanilla an almond thing yeah. compared to the the 2000 yeah, smells. Yeah. It's not, and it doesn't smell as oxidized. This is really a treat to sit and sip on. All of them so far, are fucking yeah. amazing beers. <laughs> Let's yes. try the 4000. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Oh, thicker. that's so much more impactful. Yeah, and it's thicker. It's, a, but it's not as deep, I think. It's almost like a mix of the two. I think maybe I need to jump between them a bit. Mm -hmm. Really nice after this. I'm definitely getting maybe more tobacco on this than this one. Yeah, I was just about to say, I think it has a bit more tobacco, but also just a hint of umami, which yeah. the others don't really have. I think it's more towards the 2000 than mm -hmm. the 3000. Mm -hmm. Just it's tasting like a whole lot fresher. Yeah. Mm. Also, it, yeah, it is a bit more, a touch more spicy mm -hmm. than, than 3000. Yeah, fuck, they're great beers. Like yeah. no booziness. It's just mm -hmm. alcohol and warmth. Like when you sip on a spirit, going down. And really pleasant, like really that bourbon really flavor feels. and warmth. There are, I will say one hundred percent, they are so similar to Paragon, but Paragon leads to definitely watch the three thousand because Paragon is sweeter. Yeah, and I think that's the best reference. Mm. So I think if you're in Europe and you didn't catch any of these. And if you caught, you know, Paragon, any vintage, you'd yeah. be just as happy because they're very much in the same ballpark. They are. But uh, I think we should do something we never do and turn off the camera for a bit, sip on them a bit and find out which one we prefer before mm. we create it. Yeah, because, um, yeah, Come they back. are very close. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So yeah. let's do that and see you guys in a bit. Cheers. Cheers. Okay guys, we sipped on them a bit, and the one that clearly is our least favorite is Brew 3000. <laughs> which is <laughs> clearly, not clearly, but it's just when you sit with them all these side by side, you can definitely taste one you, which ones you like, easily prefer and which one stands out the most as being your least favorite. That being said, it's still amazing beer. Yeah. All of these are top tier, world class party wines. Yeah. Uh, Fucking amazing beers, really. We might not have been going as nuts and animated as we've done in previous reviews and whatnot. I don't know what happened today. We didn't go as. I think we just knew what to expect, really, yeah. because we had yeah. this one. We, we knew the quality. This kind of level. It was not this, you know, big surprise. No. Uh, but uh, for me, 100%, the 2000 edge is out just because it has deeper complexity and it has some more spicy barrel characters and whatnot to disrupt everything, yeah. which is really ni it's, nice. It's the most balanced of the bunch, but most also the one with the most depth. Yes, and I think it might be due to a, just a little bit of a good oxidation mm. and it, it tastes like the beer is, you know, at its peak right now. It doesn't yeah. taste like it'll get any better. So I'd say if you have 2000 years earlier, yeah. drink it now. Then my next favorite is actually the, the 4000, just because it's the most reminiscent to the 2000. And then the least, least favorite is 3000 just because it's just a bit more sweet and you know, whatever. But you know, last time when we had this, we gave it a 98 and it was, you know, it's still world-class beer, mm. but having it side by side with the others, I'm gonna grade it down a bit to a 97. And this is gonna be a big 98 and this is gonna be a small 98. All top tier world-class beers, not honest barley wines, but I can't remember the last time I gave a barley wine a honest. That's probably, I haven't done that I think since King Henry, <laughs> almost. So, Good but man. it's, you know, such great Barney wines. Yeah. And if you want to taste how you need to do like really, you know, deep and intense and complex barrel aged Barney wines with immense barrel character, these are great examples. Yeah. And now you've been able to get them in Europe. So if they make it over here again, get on it. Don't sleep on it. Even though they're like 35 euros a bottle because it's Don't, worth it. it. It's absolutely, it's worth, absolutely the price. worth it. Yeah. 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 Yes, I agree. Uh, I, I prefer 2000 the most and, and then 4 and then 3. Uh, so yeah, probably 90, yeah, 98 on, on 2000, small 98 on, on uh, 4 and maybe a high 96 on, on 3. 
So. But it's funny how we dropped that one down, but I still think, you know... Yeah, I mean, it's, really it's just, I, I think it's a bit... If, if we had it by itself or on its own, I'd probably... Yeah, maybe it'd be I'd a different experience. It high, I don't know. But, but I would just like it to have a bit more of like a... A bit more depth and a bit more like spice. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a bit more edge. Yeah, just because it's just more sweet. And I think yeah. part of this, you know, what also gives this an edge a bit in this is because it has a bit more spiky alcohol. Not a lot, but mm. because it's so fresh, and it's I think that helps disrupt the sweetness as well. Yeah, and I also think the four thousand is the one with the biggest body. Hundred percent. Yeah, it has a it's, bit more. Yeah, it's, it's more thicker. oily. Yeah. They're all oily, but it's just a. It's it just you know has a bit more heft. But that could also be, be because a lot of particles and stuff drop out of suspension over over time when beer ages. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we've seen that especially with stouts, the really big stouts. They have like these caramel rings sometimes on the bottom, like it looks like sludge. And then you swirl it up, you get the full mouthfeel. We try mm -hmm. that with the uh, Beer Geek Brands Weasel in Isla Barrels. It's like, oh yeah, it's yeah. thinner than crazy. I expected. Then we swirl the bottom up and it didn't mute the beer, but no. you got that like creaminess. You got another. It's still a bit in this 2000. <laughs> yeah. But it's, ah, it's, I don't think it's enough to really. No, make and I don't want to take the chance no. so we get a no. muted beer like we no. did with the, the summer home from Bucket. No. But yeah, world, world class beers. Urge That's you guys great. to check them out. If you can't get them, if you don't have them, I'd say the closest thing in Europe to this and this level is 100% Paragon from Derek. Mm. So, but yeah, Absolutely. thanks a ton to Morton for sharing the uh, the 2000 and thanks a ton to Beardome for the, the 3000. Yeah, and thanks and to ourselves for, for the 4000. <laughs> so if you guys had either of these, that's what we thought of them. Do you have a preference? You probably do, so let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're gonna say cheers in our favorite yeah. Brew 2000. And cheers. see you guys in another beer review.